Kaplan Meyer survival plot and survival time analysis and log rank test are related to each other. So survival time analysis is a time to an event analysis. So the survival analysis will analyze the duration of time until an event occurs. So the analysis is called survival time or duration time analysis and the event can be death, cured from diseases, finding a job, bankruptcy or getting a disease. So the survival analysis will analyze uh, the duration of the time until one of these events occurs. Another term that is always linked to survival analysis is censoring. Censoring means that the data are incomplete when a participant in the study, uh, the study follow-up ends or a participant uh, drop out of a study or immigrate. So this is called censored or uh, censoring as there is partial or incomplete data. So for survival analysis, the data has to have two essential variables for survival data. The first variable is the time variable, which is the time from the beginning of the study to the death or end of the study. And the second essential variable, which is the event variable. So these are two core or significant variables to do survival analysis. The data should have at least two essential variables. The first one is the time variables and the second one is the event variable, which can be death, uh, cured from disease, getting the disease, and it's given a value of one for failed and zero for censored. Survival analysis can have multiple variables. Essential variable, which is the follow-up time that can be measured in years or months or weeks, days, and so on. An outcome, which is essential, which is a death, which is binary. It can be yes or no, life or dead, have the disease, doesn't have the disease. So this is a binary or categorial um, variable and the time is a continuous variable. Additional independent variable can be included for the survival analysis such as the age, the sex, the drugs intake for the study and so on. Here I had an example of the variables that can be used for the survival analysis or survival time analysis. There are here four variables. The time variable here, which is measured in the scale of years, 0.6 year, 2.5 years, one year. So this is the time of the entry of an individual to the study. Uh, so that first individual had a 0.6 entry time, uh, whether he continued or he dropped, that can be also added in the data. So the first variable is the time variable, which is essential to perform survival analysis. The second variable is the event, which should occur at one point of a time, whether the individual continue to live toward the end of the study and beyond, or the individual died at certain time point in the study, as for here, participant six died at 3.9 years 
post commencing the study. So a value of one given for dead and zero given for the life. Additional variables, uh, independent variables are the drug and the sex. The drug, there are two drugs here, A and B. Drug A is given a value of one, B is given a two. The same thing for males and females. Uh, males are given a value of one and females are a value of two. So here we have two independent variable and two essential variable for survival analysis, the time and the event. This is an extract from an output for survival time analysis showing the uh, um, analysis between drug A and drug B. And as shown here, the D stands for dead and T for time. So this table shows that the survival time at 50%, which is the median for drug A is 5.9 and for drug B is 3.6. So drug A uh, prolong the life of a participant. So participant live longer when they have drug A compared to drug B as the survival time median for taking drug A is higher than drug B. Uh, as this study investigate whether there is a difference uh, between the uh, between the two drugs and whether drug A more effective in prolonging the life of individual who have a disease such as uh, cancer and whether drug A uh, prolong their survival time. An important graph or curve can be drawn when looking at the effect of drugs on the survival of participants who have diseases or conditions is the Kaplan-Meier survival curve. This is a non-parametric method and the method estimates the probability or the percentage of an event at a time point. So the survival time can be plotted using the Kaplan-Myers survival curve. And that method um, estimates are presented by constructing a Kaplan-Myers plot which is a graph representation of survival rate. So there will be two uh, uh, axes for the graph, an x-axis which has the time in years or months and a y-axis which shows the probability or the percentage of survival um, um, on a different time point or a certain time point. Here as shown in this slide, this graph is the Kaplan-Meier survival graph or plot showing two important curves, the blue one and the red one, the blue one for drug A and that red one is for drug B. So this is drug A and this is drug B. And on the y-axis is the percentage, which is from 0 to 100, or the probability from 0 to 1. And uh, on the x-axis is the time scale from 0 to 15 years, as shown here. As shown from the curve for taking drug A, has a higher survival rate compared to the uh, individual who took the drug B. So drug A is more effective in prolonging the life of participant who suffers from the disease such as cancer. So 
basically we can really essentially say that there is a difference between the two curves and also this difference has been um, confirmed by uh, descriptive statistics as the median for uh, graph A is higher than the median for taking drug uh, B. So there is essentially a difference in the two graphs and there is a potentially uh, more uh, benefit of taking drug A on the survival of individual. But is this statistically significant or not? This can be confirmed by a test which is called log rank test. The log rank test will compare the survival curves between these two set of curves. So it is non-parametric test. The null hypothesis for the test is that the survival time between the two groups are similar or in another way the distribution of the two curves are similar. The alternative hypothesis will state that the survival time between the two groups are different so the distribution of the curves A is different from B and the test will generate a p-value which is less than 0.05. If it is less than 0.05, then we'll accept the alternative hypothesis which indicate a difference between the two curves. Here is an extract of uh, uh, output from analysis for drug A and drug B using the log rank test. And as shown here, which is important, the p-value, which is less than 0.001, let's say, which shows that there is a significant difference, which indicates that the two uh, curves, Kaplan-Meyer curves, are different, or the survival rates between the two set of groups are statistically different and significant.